What's going on, everyone? Long time no see. I hope you guys are doing very well. This is Joe from Hagen Outs. I have been fairly busy at work recently. That's the reason why I haven't made a video in about two and a half, three weeks. But rest assured, I do have a few videos that I am going to be making over the weekend. So keep an eye out for them. But I want to put a big thank you out to all you guys. The babies are selling fairly quick. I have 11 babies sold. Three on hold right now, so thank you guys for your support. If you are looking for a hognose snake, a baby hognose snake, go over and check out my Morph Market. I do offer a 5% discount off the price on Morph Market, so check it out. With that being said, let's get on with this video. Holdbacks that I plan on keeping this year, raising for future projects. And guys, I'm pretty happy on what I produced this year. Some of these babies are just absolutely gorgeous. So let's check out my holdbacks for my breeding season 2023 here on Hogging Outs. All right, everybody, let's check out some holdbacks that I have from this uh, breeding season. The first one we're going to check out is Sil, S-I-L-103. This is just a normal conda, but his colors haven't produced anything like this so this is a one of a kind this year very maroon red pattern uh head stamp very dark so let's uh check him out all right guys here he is gorgeous this is malconda very gorgeous i don't think the video is really going to justify his colors but this could be a hold back for me i had to assist feed him about eight weeks after he was born I threw everything at him he would not feed and uh, now he's feeding every week All right, the next uh, holdback for the season, guys, is a conda, and this was the smallest hatchling I had this year, and he's been feeding nonstop. So uh, I think he hatched out at three grams, and I think he's around six grams now. So he uh, pretty much doubled in size. He hasn't shed out yet, but he should be shedding here soon. But the reason why I'm holding this uh, baby boy back is it's very yellow, very yellow in color. So polygenetic wise, I'm gonna hold this baby back. Let's check him out. So here we go everybody. As you can see, uh, he's very small. And I know the camera's not gonna pick it up too well, but very yellow in color. Might be a possible Arctic, I'm not sure yet, but I'll wait until he sheds a few more times, but I'm cutie. <laughs> Alright, the next holdback is Sil201. That's a super arctic, super anaconda. And I named her Minnie, probably one of my favorite hog noses I produced this year. So let's check out Minnie here and you'll know why I called her Minnie. Alright guys, here she is. And you can tell by her head stamp. Looks like she has uh, Mickey Mouse ears. Alright guys, the next holdback for the season is Sil203, Super Arctic Conda, she is gorgeous, another female, Super Arctic, so let's check her out. And the reason why I'm keeping this beauty is because it looks like she might have a little paradoxin going on around her saddle and her dorsal, but uh, it's a very low expression if anything, but uh, I guess we'll tell after she sheds out a few times, but um, her head stamp looks beautiful too as well. She is a cutie. What's up girl? So cute. <laughs> I 
a little skittish. The last holdback I have this year is SIL205, another Super Arctic Honda. Uh, this one's gorgeous as well. After this girl, we'll go over some potential holdbacks that I might uh, hang on to this year to as well, a few more. So uh, let's check out this uh, Super Arctic Honda female. All right, guys, here she is. Gorgeous. And it looks like she has the same thing when it comes to maybe potentially Paradoxin, right there by her tail. She's got these like white stripes that go around. But uh, she's she's gorgeous, man. Very 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 pretty. Alright guys, I just decided by looking at this uh, this male Arctic Super Conda uh, that I forgot to put him on the holdback list. This is definitely a holdback, reason being is he's a Super Anaconda, but his head stamp is very, very high expression Arctic. It's very white, very dark, so let's check him out. And what's cool about him is that he has this really nice faint green stripe going down his dorsal. I don't know how good you can see that on camera. But uh, he's a little wild today, as you can see. Alright everybody, another potential holdback is this female, I call her the drama queen. Reason being is she's very skittish and she likes to uh, feign death, she likes to uh, play dead. She actually just started feeding recently, she started to feed recently I should say, so she's already had two feed-ins and she's due to feed today, but she's a little spicy noodle. Another potential holdback is this female 50% double head snow possible Hetz Evans Hypo. She is gorgeous. She has nice uh, on her dorsal, nice and black outline with the white edging all the way around, all the way down her dorsal. Uh, head stamp, not too arctic, but you can tell she's definitely arctic with the dorsal pattern uh, going down her dorsal. But once she sheds out a few times, her face is fairly white which is uh, indicative of a uh, arctic so in between her brows very arctic looking so <laughs> And another holdback this year is another cutie. This is a male Arctic Conda. Fairly high expression, a little spicy little noodle.
So there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video on my holdbacks for this year. Now, that's not all of my holdbacks. I do plan on holding back about 10 in total, and the rest I'm going to sell. So again, if you're interested, go follow me over at Morph Market. Link is down below. All right, everybody, you have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. I will see you in the next video. This is Joe from Hagen Outs. I'm out. Cheers.